Oh, there you guys are. Hey again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. It's good to see you as we continue on. War game Red Dragon? Second Korean War. So, we are uh, about to fight a battle here at Seoul, a.k.a. Seoul, and Wanju, a.k.a. Oju, which is really good on French... Uh, Swiss sandwiches? I don't know. Anyway, what the hell do you call those things? Uh, a French dip? Yeah, okay. Anyway, it's time to dip into our coffers a little bit and spend some money. Speaking of dip, we do have se uh, several options to buy things, and we'll have to do so before the end of the turn. There's a lot of real important moves I think we need to make. Uh, number one being uh, moving closer to Naval Sector Foxtrot to block any sort of uh, naval landing at Mach Po. We also need to watch out for these helicopters here, as we've learned in the, um, or especially what I've learned most from Climb Mount Noronaya, is flanking uh, with and enemy flankings from helicopters are extremely effective. It's a two-way street. Unfortunately, it's a one-way road for now for the North Koreans <clears throat> as they have their Special Forces Regiment, uh, both the 750 and the 612, uh, ready to land at both probably Makpo and uh, Guangzhou, though I wouldn't be surprised if they also brought their forces to Daejeon. Now, the most important areas we need to keep here is I, regardless of consequence, want to keep Seoul. Number one, it has a harbor which means that perhaps later we can land some naval forces and immediately cut the enemy off. And number two, it does have 10 extra points for it, and that's a pretty massive strategic advantage, especially since the enemy doesn't really have anything around. In fact, unless they come in with everything, we should be able to hold. So regardless, I'm going to consolidate my forces and try to defeat the enemy head-on there as uh, where they have really a main force here, here, and here. It's going to be basically a straight drive to each one of these southern objectives. Uh, Yosu is not worth any strategic points, but it does have an airport which makes it invaluable. And if uh, Daejeon is about to be captured, we're going to need to pull back. So let's make some moves first with our navy. I want to move up to naval sector Lima just to make a, a wall against any enemy forces that may advance uh, via the via the um, naval sector November here. Make sure they're blocked at both Kilo and Lima. We did make our naval sector Foxtrot move as well and now it's time to spend some points. Uh, I think we'll actually complete our moves first though. Uh, number one I want to um, move our helicopter forces in uh, to Seoul as they can be um, as they can be moved. We're pretty much going to call in everything. We have a 207 fighter squadron and the 216 attack squadron. These other two forces are still uh, still panicked from the previous uh, failed defense. Uh, Guangzhou is going to have to hold because of these helicopters. Luckily, I did look. It does have um, it does have some stingers, and that's going to be very effective. And it also has Haebyeong 90 which are also going to be very effective against the infantry that may attempt to land. Most importantly, we do need to have more numbers on the field, so unfortunately we're not going to be going for some of the more lavish and expensive mechanized uh, regiments yet, but we will <clears throat> need some sort of anti-aircraft company, and here we have the air defense company that Makpo that we can call in. Additionally, I also want some more infantry and uh, the best thing to do is to look exactly where enemy infantry is and make sure we meet it head-on. We have the 10th security regiment here which is basically a ton of uh, very affordable troops and infantry regiment totaling 48. They have an immense number of troops and we need to make sure we are able to cut through that. That seems to be a real job for auto cannons and tanks but we're not going to be able to do much with that at the moment. Uh, though at Mach Po, if these helicopters attack, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hold, so we're going to add some more security to the left side. Uh, we do have the Victory Division, but most importantly, I want infantry for now, so Mach Po is going to get the additional reinforcements there. And the Air Defense Company, uh, we have some air defense on the left side, so we may as well bring some to the right. Additionally, we do have support from the Enterprise that we can loan to the battle, so we'll, uh, we'll keep the Air Defense Company here for now. And at Wanju, uh, we could be counterattacked. Uh, hilariously, there's only nine T-55 recons remaining, so we were able to pretty much clobber them very effectively. One thing that would be important is to retreat when we're able to do so, but we're not going to do so at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just fight at Wanju, which is going to be an instant win, and or they'll retreat, and or whatever. In fact, I could... I should just do the auto-resolve, because we know, actually, if we launch battle, yeah, they've been destroyed. Perfect. All right, so that does not exist anymore. 
Uh, regardless, it was basically an auto-resolve uh, according to how the game is played. We have our uh, Bulldogs, our um, AV-8A Harriers, which have been badly damaged, but we will still need to drop some bombs on the enemy. They still do have the ability to call out those Strela 2s, and I do believe they uh, as ZSU-57s, so those are some real hefty guns against us, but regardless, we still need to bring the pain. Tomcats are going to be great over Seoul, but we're going to bring them over Wanju. Wanju needs everything it can get at the moment, so anti-aircraft company. Actually, maybe we'll just move up one, because if we lose here and or have to retreat, we'll be uh, secure. And at uh, Daejeon, we may also be able to pull back as well. Um, this is it. The enemy has a lot of forces that they can just drive right into us with, so we're going to get pushed back hard probably do our final defense line and that's not really the main goal here again it's to hold the main objectives which are these three and uh, it's really gonna play out like the previous Korean War so let us begin that at Seoul let me just make sure I uh, didn't forget to move anything everything looks okay uh, again mechanized infantry and AA is going to stay back at Mokpo and uh, Guangzhou there does have the AA and Daejeon there's not much I can do here so the enemy may drive into us and really cause some damage. It's time to get lucky and seal them as we continue on. If you enjoy this, please do uh, subscribe and uh, leave that like and comment down below on what you think of the new campaign. Are you watching it or are you playing it or are you doing both? Let me know. All right, so we've got uh, quite a bit of forces against us and they outnumber us immensely, but luckily they don't have Naval Sector Charlie anymore because of a previous uh, Hail Mary full of grace we had done. So we'll see what we can make of that. We're gonna launch the battle here and uh, see what we can do against the enemy here on the Second Korean War. All right, we actually have a UH-1A, which uh, I'm, I'm immediately going to utilize to capture Naval Sector Charlie. That's immensely important. We also want to make sure we have uh, the uh, Daejeon uh, area captured as well, so we can bring in multiple reinforcements now. Uh, we'll be able to get five and three points with two callouts and we'll even be able to get some naval units as well so we could even perform a naval landing and possibly capture Delta or at least clear it of enemy forces make sure they don't get it uh, so we at least will have most of this part of the map Echo, uh, Chunchon, uh, Foxtrot and the other sector there all going to be held by the enemy more than likely we do have 926 points uh, as morale so we can't take too many losses and we need to be very careful with what we've got and with what we call out Luckily, we do have Navy SEALs ready to roll, so we're going to keep them in uh, important positions. In fact, we could, speaking of Delta, we could actually bring the Delta forces, or the, well, these SEALs, rather, these special forces, all the way around to uh, Oglin, and maybe, possibly, there could be a command set up anywhere in these woods, so we could do a big, deep flank and somehow get behind them. So I'm going to go for that, and I'm also going to send some forces to uh, Delta, and luckily we do have mostly airborne forces and these will again help us against any sort of enemy vehicle and there's probably going to be a lot of enemy uh, enemy infantry transports those are going to be uh, the what we need to watch out for the most alright uh, the enemy also may have some aircraft if they spot our UH-1Hs then we could be in trouble we'll keep a recon helicopter with them and uh, we will add to the security back at home. We're going to need uh, security back here. Actually, you know what? We could send up a uh, recon unit to park around here. And as previously, these Fiats are very effective as well. In fact, we could block this entire bridge passage here. Uh, if the enemy attempts to try to get through on the left side through Delta or at Echo and or somewhere anywhere here, Pretty much anywhere here they're going to be spotted, which leaves this bridge down here open, which means we've got security ready for it. So we've got 55 extra points. I think I'll hold on to them for aircraft, and uh, away we go. All right, let's see what we can do. Again, if we're keeping our forces consolidated and close together, we have a better chance of surviving. Getting everything moving right away is important. Losing that sector just for a quick second until that infantry comes out, and our eight... A, or our AT weapons are in place. I always want to say ATGMs, but technically they are an anti-tank missile, but not anti-tank guided. All right, our Delta forces or our SEALs or whatever you want to call them are going to go around the village. I'm going to try to walk down there too with some of our uh, our SEALs and see what happens. 
Fiats are ready to roll. Keep an eye on that mini map while you're kind of making sure everything is in a good position. We have artillery at our disposal if needed, and we have uh, we also have a few supply trucks. Keep in mind in our previous playthrough, or no, never mind. I was thinking we captured supply trucks, but no, we didn't. I, I was going to say we would have the opportunity to do it. Oh, wait a minute, we've got some ships coming up. Looks like a Shanghai has found has found us. Damn it! And the Mig 23s are out. All right, that means we got to go with the uh, aircraft right away. Taking down immediately, going for the recon. No surprise there. And immediately going for another aircraft. All right, we were finally able to take him down. That's lucky. All right. So they did take down a recon. The enemy will smoke recon. They'll artillery it. They just they hate it so much, just as much as me. All right, we will uh, set up our defensive positions a little better now. Uh, that was kind of unfortunate, but at least they didn't take down our landing force. And we'll set up little tripwires over the woods just in case they come through with infantry. And I just saw some units here at the canal. Maybe that's the Shanghai. Maybe there's more Shanghais coming through the. Uh, Coming through the canal there. BTR 60 PBs are spotted. Uh, the Kafka, that's what I'm going to call it. Kafva, Kava is uh, taking it down real good. Shanghai is moving into the canal. We actually have naval ships of our own now. We uh, do have the ability to call out STRB 90Hs. We could have, well, we should have moved our FOB a little closer. All right, we'll move those STRBs there and block that intersection completely. That's going to be extremely valuable. We'll uh, have these helicopters come over here for makeshift security, and it looks like a ton of aircraft or a ton of a uh, ton of units are now starting to come down the road. Though they may be second guessing th themselves. STRB, by the way, is a Swedish uh, gunboat armed with Hellfires. And it also has, oh, look at how zippy it is. I can't even keep up with it. Uh, it's also armed with a 50 caliber and uh, a Mark 19 40 millimeter grenade launcher with a ton of ammo on it. So uh, no worries there. Enemy units are moving around everywhere, trying to flank us, I'm sure. More aircraft being called out, desperate to stop our helicopter landing. Actually, that could be... Uh, that might be napalm. Get out of here. Stupid menu is staying up. Yep, that's instant napalm on our units. Keep going, keep going. Artillery as well. You can see they're just immediately desperate to stop those types of units. Look at that. See, as, as soon as things land, it's just insta arty. Alright, F5s are a real pain in the ass. All right, our seals are finally in a better position there in the sector Delta. There might be a ton of AA over that sector there, so we're going to get out of the way. Just keep moving, boys. Just keep moving. So we were unsuccessful in landing undetected. And we did lose a seal squad there, but uh, could be worse. Okay, looks like uh, enemy transports are making their way through the woods. And per usual, the enemy's using smoke. SEAL team's got pretty beat up there, but that must mean that's gonna that that's good luck for that uh, that attack. Come on, boys, get them. Alright, we're bingo fuel and we're out of there. F5 uh, again dropping bombs, probably on the Fiats. And Artie probably coming in on that other recon. Artie just coming in on everything. Every unit that's stationary seems to be getting hit. 
Hopefully there's a command here, that's where we're going first. Alright, let's, uh, we can land some naval troops over here, though, with that, uh, enemy aircraft. We have to be careful. We're gonna call up a Dong Hei, though. And we'll make a naval landing soon at, uh, Ong Jin. We can also capture, I think it's more feasible now to capture the, uh, Delta sector. We actually might be able to take the long way over there and avoid the roads completely. Uh, it's actually a shorter route, but it'll take more time. We're just out of uh, point range to buy the LCU. And we'll split up our formations to come in south, center, and north of this uh, corner of Ong Jin. Probably Insta Ackart coming in again on our Fiats. And we'll get our STRBs out of there as well. That will help to block any blobs of infantry, which they're probably apt to bring, because that's just pretty much all they have. We'll keep helicopters around their spawn, too, to make sure we can keep an eye on what they're calling out. And here comes a ton of infantry. Nice uh, job for a bomber. Or two. Or ten. Jesus, look at all those units. One recon seemed to have retreated in time, but I don't know about this other one. Oh god, Fiat getting too close. And it self-destructed. But we did end up destroying a plenty amount of enemy units there. That was exciting. Excellent. Really good, uh, good work there from those aircraft. I'm really happy they were able to engage. From our naval tab, STRBs are going to be extremely effective. More enemy uh, infantry are arriving. We'll put our Dong Hei just outside the air sector and see if we can sneak into town. All right, LCU's on the way. Unfortunately, naval landings are, uh, they're very effective, but they're very expensive. We'll, uh, lend some help to these, uh, troops here. Hopefully these bombs are very accurate. That's danger close with that kind of bomber. And it looks like the Dong Hei has found some targets. keep back actually perfect for these uh, helicopters to engage that cl a cluster like that's just gonna die immediately all right seals are having some trouble holding we're gonna bring up our uh, AT Troops. Uh, let's see if we can call out any more infantry. Looks like we can call out two more groups of Navy SEALs. We'll have this command unit hide over here for now. STRB can take care of anything else that comes outside of town. We're going to fall back again. Dong Hei now being smoked out. It must be a Dutch ship at this point, man. Alright, um... We'll have our infantry walk up to the corner. And STRBs are going to hang out then to deal with any advancing enemies that sneak through. I'm not being overly aggressive today because of all the uh, possible... Ooh, nice, uh, nice kill there on an expensive unit. Uh, not being overly aggressive because of all the... Um, points they have on us. It's it's very hard for us to make do today with what we've got in points. Those Navy SEALs are probably going to be toast here in a second. So we're going to just drop bombs on top of that old position.
Ooh, wait a minute. Command kill. No way. Ong Jin, no more air support from the enemy. Oh, and look at all the... Uh... Okay, so they've got a lot of troublemakers coming in now. Uh, unfortunately, I think with what we've got, it's not going to be enough. We can... Ooh, we've captured enemy supply trucks, too, up in the north. No way. These Navy SEALs are not going to have a bad day after all. No need for that naval landing anymore at uh, Ong Jin. Well, we can actually come in from the from the forest now. And our helicopter brigade here, or whatever you want to call them, can uh, actually support the uh, advancing um, advancing Navy... Or the, uh, I always want to say Navy... Yeah, they are Navy SEALs. Delta Force, Navy SEALs, whatever. They're kicking ass. Uh, we don't want these infantry units to get through, so we're going to cut them off. And it looks like Igla and other troops are starting to uh, get into the, into the way up top. Plop our seals into a defensive position. Yeah, seals, what the hell? They're not even engaging. We're going to kill cheap transports here now. And I'm going to start bombing the town as if there was something up there. I'm not sure, but we're going we're gonna to make use of uh, what we got. We're going to bring up that 25 millimeter. And we're going to bring that Fiat back up. Cargo's coming in. STRBs, maybe artillery, so we're going to move them. I see around there. Dragonfly. LCUs are ready. Hey, Bunk can come in from the south. We actually will have this sector. Looks like the Shanghai is moving north to try to engage that, uh... Ah, you know what, actually, we could bring our helicopter over from naval... from the sector at Charlie here. We could fly that helicopter around and capture that sector as well. We've gone from a no-chance situation to, uh... Watch out for me. VTRs are sacrificing themselves for Lil' Kim. Seals are gonna move up then. Dong Hayes ain't nothing to fug with. STRB, something targeting them. Oh, it could be the tank fagots here. Monitors are coming in. Where did those helicopters go? The uh, helicopters here are going to be useful. Ah, oh, that's what they're going for. They're going for the recons and such. Alright, let's hit them hard. Let's have our command come into where our seals are. And I did see those units there. We're going to try to flame them. Crazy amount of F5s. Just keep driving, man. Alright, there's a lot of enemy infantry moving, so we're going to switch positions. Wow, the infantry is just finding commands... Or, uh, um, supply everywhere. It's actually a good... Well, I said we were going to have uh, enemy supplies before. I, I was confused and thought we had, but we sure as hell do now. Uh, Naval Sector Charlie is ours. We, uh, we're we going to move up to the north and capture that position right away. Dong Hei is kicking ass down here too. Captain killed on the bridge in the Shanghai. Navy SEALs having no problem killing some of that elite infantry, and those 60 troops up north are going to have no trouble either. The enemy has captured uh, a position again to provide air cover. Vehicles, everything else we can call in. Zippo monitors are, are ready to engage if needed. They're being kicked out of town, and they're being cut off. Enemy uh, SEALs, or uh, Navy SEALs, or the... Uh, exact name of them, the, uh, uh, what are they, the, uh, UDT SEALs did make their naval landing as well. Not their naval landing, but, uh, they are on the ground now. There's probably a lot of AA up here. It's a good thing we brought in the troops before we brought in the, uh, before we brought in the bombers, or the command or anything else. Mm -hmm. 
Right now we're just losing UH1s, who cares? And STRB was destroyed apparently? Or are there... I guess we did lose one. Oh no, both of them are right here. Okay. Fiat's gonna go right back into position. We can get rid of whatever's at Echo. If we can find a command there, we can just bomb it and end that easily. The Dong He can then defend the position here on the right side. Wait a minute, where's that infantry? Alright, we're actually gonna call up these bombers now. Now, hopefully, they don't get popped by any sort of uh, cheap AA. And we're gonna move up to the north then. We've got three minutes to uh, try to cap. ATGM up the ass, whoa. Those units are being heavily panicked. I'm surprised we didn't get any kills there. Dragonfly not targeting. He's gonna run out of fuel before he drops bombs. Alright, we got troops from the north we can call in. If we can just get behind them, we can call in some other goodies. STRBs are on the way to stop some of those enemy infantry. It's very risky what I'm doing now. We should have brought up those monitors. BTRA out of nowhere, what the hell? Good thing we saw that, that's uh, big points there. Should be dead though, there we go. Alright, our dragonflies are on the way. Enemy can't go around, or it must go around its own fire. And the STRBs have arrived. Dragonflies have arrived. We now have the sector. Let's just call in everything we can. Okay, what's the deal? I just need to lure them away from the uh, area. GM's hitting that command there. Not our only command though, but they did uh, achieve a victory then. Minor defeat. We did uh, lose the uh, one sector there, but uh, look at all that we've destroyed. A massive victory, really. And uh, wow, that was uh, really surprising that we were able to pull that off. Too bad we couldn't hold that sector in the north, but uh, we can always go back up there and capture it another time. Um, we'll end this turn then and see what happens next. Oh, this is it. There's the big push. The helicopters landing in both Daejeon and uh, Guangzhou and Wanju also needing uh, some extra support. Luckily, we were able to get those aircraft over in time. All right, so anyway, uh, at Seoul, wish I could have hold, held that area a little bit longer. There was just mere seconds left, but you can see we uh, kicked the hornet's nest, and eventually they'll, they'll run out of troops eventually. We'll get them. So until next time, keep your passwords and pimp hands strong. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys. Bye.